going back to the Rockets, again, John Wall's been playing extremely well. All the depots really finding his role with that team, as I mentioned earlier. And I think Eric Gordon is is really stepping up in that six man role. I, I think at first he wasn't very happy with it because he's like, dude, why am I going to be a backup shooting guard to a team that's not even very good, right? The team that sucked, that was bottom in the West. But they're finding their way. And right now, the Houston Rockets are a playoff team. Do you expect them to stay in the playoffs? Do you expect them to make the playoffs this year, Caleb? Honestly, I bet against John Wall coming back being good. So I'm not going to bet against him again. I'm going to say that they can get in because I I feel bad if I go against him again. Plus, they just they look really good. They look like they click together. And plus, Steven Silas is actually a decent coach. Like, he's not bad. Like, a lot of people, I think, kind of wrote them off. as like, oh, rookie head coach, John Wall coming back, Oladipo, some people love and hate him. Um, and Christian Wood, they, they love, but I don't know. Centers are capped. We've been over this. But a lot of people kind of wrote them off as soon as they traded away hard. And they're like, okay, there it goes. But P.J. Tucker looks like he bought back in. Like you mentioned with Eric Gordon, looks like he, he bought into the six-man role. They look like they're good, and they have a decent team. And I was talking to people on the Dimers Podcast Twitter account, Rockets fans, talking about how the Rockets always seem to find amazing talent in the undrafted free agent pool and then late second round guys. They always seem to find guys like that. Daniel House, you know what I mean? And they have that one rookie this year. And I was talking to him about those rookies. Mason Jones was brought up, the rookie out of Arkansas. He was an undrafted guy, and he has he got one start and he scored 16 points in it. And just the way that the Rockets seem to find this value top to bottom every single year – and it's weird because it's not like the same GM is there this time. Like Daryl Morey's gone. They brought in a new GM and he found Mason Jones and um, Jay Sean Tate. They've been giving him good minutes. Rockets are very good and that might fall in on coaching. You know what I mean? Coaching might have something to do with that. And they look good. So I'm going to say that, yeah, they can get into the playoffs. And I'd like to see them in the playoffs. I agree. I think they can easily make that playoff spot if they stay healthy. And that's always the big if. Oladipo has had trouble staying healthy this year and in the past. Uh, you have guys like DeMarcus, obviously off the bench. He's been dealing with a lot of injuries. The biggest question to me is John Wall. If John Wall can stay healthy, that team is absolutely a playoff team. Christian Wood just recently sprained his ankle, and it looked bad. But luckily for him, he it's not too bad, and he ended up coming back. So um, that team is exciting. I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on the Houston Rockets. And for those of you watching Houston Rockets fans, let us know what you guys think. If you guys think Houston can make it, I'd probably see them around a six to eight seed. Um, and maybe they can surprise us, but that's really where I see them capped off at.